and using image processing and uh, my group members is Arjun Power, myself, Yatar Dhonde and Vatsal Modi. In this project we are implementing virtual piano using image processing concept. The traditional piano has uh, some disadvantages like that. Currently uh, available virtual piano is as shown in figure. In this case the player has to press keyboard letter keys to get a specific piano key tool. The difficulties present in uh, between keyboard is eliminate complexity in player at keyboard and to make the piano a portable virtual piano set for amateur player and to achieve this the following procedure the user has to position the camera over his area of playing the piano is as shown in and next is the camera is interfaced with MATLAB this is where all the image processing and signal processing will take place Using color object tracking method, we play the key notes corresponding to position of the user's fingers and the actual implementation and block diagram will be explained by in these figures as shown. This is basic, basic block diagram and actual implementation and further part will be explained by Yatar. Hi, I will explain MATLAB code to you. We are using a webcam as an input and at output we are using speaker. Uh, so MATLAB code we are using, uh, we are capturing video frames, then frame subtraction, median filter, thresholding, binary conversion, uh, morphological operations and color object detection. Uh, Come here, I will explain the code. So in MATLAB code, we have uh, used median filter to filter out the noise, then we have used grayscale to binary conversion, then, then we have used morphological operation for opening and uh, opening process and uh, we have used uh, color object detection. In this we are, we are using view color for moving object detection. Now in this we have uh, divided our screen. We are using 640 into 480 screen resolution in which we are divided we have divided it into seven segments. These are the seven segments. Uh, in blue color will be uh, detected in uh kya bolu isko? blue color will be detected in this particular uh, segment and uh, corresponding note will be uh, played. Uh, we have divided the coordinates into two parts, uh, 640 into uh, 7 parts and 480 into 2 parts. Uh, here uh, 182, we are starting from 91 to uh, 240. Okay. Particular segment, this is the frequency we are uh, using, uh, f is equal to 240 hertz. Uh, then uh, according to it, we are, you are changing the frequency in uh, other uh, segments also. F is 270, F is 300 and that particular sound note will be, uh, will be played. 240 is used for SA, 270 is used for RE, 300 is used for GA, uh, 320 is used for MA and 360, use, uh, 360 frequency is used for PA. Uh, let's see. And F is uh, 400 is used for in this we have used uh, sampling frequency 44100 and we have uh, used formula uh, y is equal to sine 2 pi ft. In this well, by changing the frequency we, will, we can change the sound note sa re gamma pa and by changing the value of t we can change the sound length of sound note. Then we have used three formulas sine square and sawtooth for changing the uh, tone of uh, tone. We are using calibration code in MATLAB. Uh, these are the, uh, as you can see on the screen, these are uh, red lines which were, uh, which by using the code we have uh, created this. And this is paper piano. We are print, we have printed this. So we are calibrating this page with the with these lines on the code. Now I will explain you GUI of our project. 
So this is our GUI for virtual piano using image processing. We have used this note length. As I told you in the code, we have changed the t value of t for note length, and uh, we have used different formulas for sine square and sawtooth. This is our play video and exit. So I'll play now. you earlier we are using blue color object detecting so uh, we can use any blue color on our fingers uh, so this is our setup for virtual this is webcam and this is our printed virtual piano we have just printed it on paper so uh, I'll play now uh, I am keeping I am selecting note length half note and type of uh, note uh, sign sign so I'll play video now I'll select sine wave. So this is for sine wave. Now I'll select square wave. Now I'll select sawtooth. So these are the types. Now I change the note length. Now I will select uh, note length 1. Now note length 1 by 4. Note length half. So this is how our GUI works. Play a tune and show you. So that's it. This is how our GUI works. Thank you. We tried implementing uh, capturing the video frames through the BeagleBone Black as well. This was so that we can use, it, use the virtual pin as a plug and play device. So I will show you how we are using the BeagleBone to capture the video frames. See over here, I have connected the BeagleBone to my laptop and the camera, the webcam is connected to my BeagleBone Black, to the USB host. Now I will try, I will show you how if the camera has been detected on this or not. So here we have connected to the BeagleBone Black and to see what are the USB devices connected to the BeagleBone Black we can see that the webcam has been detected over here. This is the Logitech webcam 270. The parameters of the webcam we use this command. Over here you can see the brightness, the contrast, saturation, the format that has been supported the width and height resolution. You can, you can change all these parameters through the command line. Um, so now we will be changing the par we will be checking the formats that we have that are supported by this webcam. So these are the two formats that are supported by this webcam. That is the YUYV format and the MJPEG format. Now we will uh, set the parameters that is the height, width, the pixel format, etc. So This is set format of the video width being equal to uh, 1280 pixels and the height being equal to 720. We will use pixel format since the pixel format is 0 YUYV and 1 is for MJPG. We will try using the MJPG format so the pixel format value will be equal to 1. So now we have set the uh, parameters 
and and now we will get on the bone cv folder so these are the files that we have in the bone cv folder the one we require is capture.c this is the uh, program written for capturing video frames so um, so we, we, we will be using the capture.c so for this we need to build this file first so this is how we build this file once the building of the file is done we will capture the image so it goes like this the number of frames that we want to acquire is determined this number which I'm typing right now let's say we want to get a thousand frames output and we will save this as the as a name let's say try trial one dot raw format the raw format is used when you're capturing the video on the beagle bone black and we we try to convert this raw format to a suitable format like mjpeg or a wav file so this is where the image capturing starts so we will start capturing the video frames now each of these dots represents a frame so the movement of the fingers are we doing here is this so now the frames have been captured now we will use the SFTP protocol to transfer the file from the BeagleBone Black to our personal PC so here it goes um i wait hold on power off power off power off power so i will first sftp into my vehicle bone black which has awesome. all right so now i've connected to my vehicle bone black now i want to connect to the i want to move this uh, file of the vehicle bone black to my um desktop and then I change this folder to bone cv where my actual file is in the beagle bone black and uh, then I get my file basically so this is the file name as you can see the file is being transferred to my desktop right now and the transfer is complete you can see that the file has been transferred to the desktop that is the file that has been transferred to the desktop and so here is the file trial one dot raw now we will since this is the raw format for now we will be using the vlc media player to play this so as you can see these are the frames that have been captured so these are a lot of video frames running at a very high speed 30 fps so for now yeah so we capture the video frames using the Beagle Bone Black and uh, the MATLAB 2014, uh, ahead of 2014 that's MATLAB 16 has a semi-link model which has support for the Beagle Bone Black as well. So if we are able to interface the Beagle Bone Black with the MATLAB code, then we will be able to use this as a plug and play device which right for now the user requires a MATLAB code and a laptop on which the MATLAB, code, uh, MATLAB software has been installed. But if the BeagleBone Black is used, we can use the BeagleBone Black as plug and play device. That is, just plug it to any USB cable, attach it to an HDMI output that is an LCD screen or a VGA display, and you can use the piano on the go anywhere.